Hello and welcome to our third reading lesson based on the short film Dream Giver. Today we're going to be focusing on vocabulary and understanding some of the trickier words coming up on this page. So we're going to start off by reading. Again, I'm going to focus on reading smoothly like a river, paying close attention to any punctuation and adding lots of expression to make it interesting for you, all the listeners. So you can pause the video now and have a go at reading it on your own first and then listen to me. You could read along with me or you can read, listen to me read and then read along yourselves afterwards. Okay, let's find out what happens next in our story. The dream giver, who moved eagerly towards an opened book, tingled with excitement, knowing that this boy's dream was going to be filled with marvel and wonder. The previously solemn child drifted towards the stars with an overjoyed expression on his young face. Pleased with his work, the mysterious figure swept on across the room towards his next subject. Meanwhile, the boy was immersed in a world of rockets and spacesuits. Turning in his sleep to peep through the spaceship window at the earth below, his leg gently knocked one of the magical eggs, carelessly left behind on his soft duvet. It fell slowly towards the ground, breaking with a silent crack on a much more frightening paperback, something so monstrous that it should not be present in any child's dream. This, as the child would soon realise, would turn his dream into a nightmare. Oh my goodness, very, very exciting part of our story, the build up here, ready for our problem on our next page or next couple of pages. Okay, so as I said before, remember you can always pause the video and have a go at rereading it yourself. We're just going to pick out a few of the words from this page that we might be unsure of and see if we can match them to their meaning. Okay, so here's our task for today. Can you match the word to the definition? We'll need a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper so that you can match the words up to their correct definitions and you can just copy them out onto your page. We've got the word, first of all, solemn. Then we've got the word immersed and monstrous. So here are our options of what they could each mean. Having the ugly or frightening appearance of a monster. Very serious, formal or thoughtful in manner or behaviour. To become completely involved in something. So have a little think to yourselves. You can pause the video now. See which word you think matches up with which definition. Write them on your piece of paper. Pause the video because I'm going to give you the answers in a minute. Just check, are there any clues in any of the words as to what they might mean? I'll just flick back here to our text so we can see them in a context. So the first one here we've got, the previously solemn child drifted towards the stars with an overjoyed expression on his young face. So what do you think that word solemn there could mean? The previously solemn child. Hmm. Think about what other words you could pop in there that would still make that sentence make sense. See if you can spot the word immersed next. Where's the word immersed in this passage? Hopefully you found it just down here. Meanwhile, the boy was immersed in a world of rockets and spacesuits. And finally, can you spot our third word that we're looking for, which is monstrous? Have a look. Can you spot it? It's just down here. Something so monstrous that it should not be present in any child's dream. So let's look back. You can pause the video now and you can see which word matches which definition. Okay, I'm about to give you your answers. Check, have you got it right? We've got solemn, means very serious or formal or thoughtful in manner or behaviour. So the boy had a thoughtful 
expression even or manner on his face a bit serious and then once his dream came alive it was more of an excited expression immersed if you're immersed in something it means you become completely involved in something you're absolutely fixed on that thing and finally monstrous there's a bit of a clue there because it looks like the word monster it's got the same beginning having the ugly or frightening appearance of a monster so a monstrous dream a terrifying dream just to keep our focus on these words now i'd like you to, for your second task to see if you can sort the synonyms into the correct group so remember a synonym is a word that means the same as so we've got our words here again solemn immersed and monstrous and you've got to see if you can sort these synonyms into the right groups that mean the same so we've got absorbed horrifying reflective cruel evil thoughtful spellbound and mesmerized so divide your page into three, put each of our words as headings for each column and then see if you can sort these words into the correct group so that they all mean the same thing. And as an extra challenge, do you think you could think of some other words that could be synonyms as well, not just the examples I've given? Okay, pause the video, give yourself some time to write it out and then I'll show you the answers. Okay, answers coming up now. So solemn, we've got reflective, thoughtful, we could have in there as well serious, immersed, so words that mean the same as immersed, we've got absorbed, spellbound, mesmerised, and monstrous, we've got horrifying, evil, and cruel. So well done. If you've added some of your own words in there as well, remember you could always look them up in a thesaurus. If you've got a thesaurus at home or online, you could look at an online thesaurus to see if there are any other words, any other synonyms. There are lots and lots, so see if you can find some more. And see you back for our fourth reading lesson, our final reading lesson of the week tomorrow. Well done everyone.